Welcome back to Further Solutions Academy. Further Solutions Academy. Don't forget to share the video across to your friends, to your classmates, and uh, subscribe. Can you press the subscribe button? You know, at this point, we have everything you need to learn on our video. And also, I really appreciate you for uh, viewing the video, for subscribing, for sharing across to your friend. I really appreciate. You can do more. You can share more in Nigeria, in US, in uh, Sri Lanka, and other part of the world. Okay, I'm going to be working on uh, introduction to integration. You know, we have done differentiation, and all what you need to learn about differentiation is already here. And um, what I need to work on here is just normal um, basic techniques, basic basic rule. Let me use the word basic rules of integration integration that's what i want to work on as far as this video is concerned and you need to understand that um, integration and differentiation they are friend so people normally use the word is a reverser there is not a reverser but there are some cases that you may not be able to reverse them back but they are friend both of them are similar one one is going forward the other one is going backward but they are not a real reverser because when you have y equals to x plus 2. Are you getting what I'm saying now? Now, look at this. If I'm to talk about the y, the x of this equals to what? 1. Now, if I'm going to, if I'm, this is going to be what? Differentiation. Now, the y can be equals to 1 dx. Now, integra integrate, integrate both side. Now, if I should integrate both sides, what I will just do is that integral of dy equals to 1 dx integral. Now, this is integral, which I will be having y equals to what? x plus k. Now, that is what we need to do. Now, look at here is 2, but here depends on the point. The point determines whether it's 2 that I will get or not. Depends on what I'm having here. That is what will determine whether the point is that. Now, um, take note of that very well. And also, take note of this very well. Integral is integral, integral, or integral is denoted by this sign. This is integral sign. Now, note that there are two branches of integration. We have what? Definite integral definite integral integral and indefinite indefinite integral now that is what you need to understand definite integral and what indefinite integral now definite integral is the integral with a what with limits now which is to be like this, a of and v of function of x of x dx. This is definite integral. Why indefinite integral is the integral of this side of this point, which you have no limit. The limit is not what you are not having limit. This is f of x dx. Now this is what indefinite integral, and this is definite integral. In this video, I'll be working on definite. I mean indefinite. Integral. That's what I'm going to be working on on this video. Now, take note of that. Now, basic rule of integration. If I have integral of x raised to power a with respect of x, now this is as important as anything. If this with respect is not there, that statement is as useless as anything. Now, with respect of the x, this is you are, integ you are integrating with respect of x. Now. If I have integral of x raised to the power a with the theta, this is different now. I'm integrating with what? Theta. It means my x value is a common distance, is a distant value. I mean, is a constant value. Sorry, is a constant value. This becomes a constant value. In a normal presentation, I will present this integral of s theta uh, d theta. This is raised to power zero. It means my theta is powering is zero. That is when I can now present it. Now, normal techniques in integration, take note of that information I just passed down. It means I'm talking about 
integral of s okay sorry it will be s plus one divided by what plus one plus k that is constant k that is definite integral but in this part which in the next video i will work on that that is how to integrate take note of that this is how to integrate this is how to integrate any function for instance if i want to integrate s to the power five with respect of s this will be integral which is of s raised to power 5 in which respect of x it will be x 5 plus 1 divided by 5 plus 1 plus k please take note of that plus that constant the constant is what i just lost here that is the constant okay okay um i have some problems here which we need to work on it for instance um permit me to write this question i have um okay integral um, find x, find x, find y rather, if the slope is, um, if the slope is 3x squared plus 4x minus 7 with, now, I'm asked to find x, find y, if the slope is equal to, this is the slope, my slope is also the y. Sorry, I'm solving now. The x equals to what? 3x squared plus 4x minus 7. Now, the y will be equals to 3x squared plus 4x minus 7. Bracket of what? The x. Integral, integral. Now, look at this. It means y raised to power 0. Now, that is, it means y. 0 plus 1 divided by 0 plus 1 equals to this will be 3x um plus okay let me just 3 plus i mean 2 plus 1 divided by 2 plus 1 plus 4 1 plus 1 divided by 1 plus 1 minus 7 s 0 plus 1 divided by 0 plus 1 plus k because it's an indefinite integral which I will now be talking about y equals to 3x cubed divided by 3 plus 4x squared divided by 2 minus 7x plus k. Now, my answer becomes y equals to what? x cubed plus 4x, I mean 2x squared minus 7x plus k. That is my, uh, my final answer. Now, Okay, that is all about that. Now, I have some problems here, which are from uh, your past question, from parks, which is part of schools, university, for the me, um, Wahek, and, um, and uh, what was the name of these people? Um, UTME, and schools, UTME also. Let's try, let's try to work on them and see how it comes. Now, I have some problems here, which, um, okay, for instance, if I have um, dy dx equals to um, 3x squared plus 3, find y. Now, if I'm to find y here, don't forget that my y is not complete here until I have my k. There are some times that at a point, at a point, 3,2. Mm -hmm. If I have 3.2, it meant my y equals to 2, my s equals to what? When I do that, I will get my what? My k. Please take note of, take, take note of that. Now, um, this, it means my what? dy equals to 3x squared plus 3, all bracket of what? The x. Now, I can now integrate, I can integrate. I want to explain something here. This can be written as, as a y raised by 0, dy equals to 3x squared dx plus what? 3 uh, dx. Take note of that. Please take note of that. Now, it means I'll turn my y equals to 3x 3 all over 3 plus 3x plus k. Now, take what I'm just trying to do is that uh, you can, you know, speak that and uh, you have your answer. y equals to what? x cubed plus 3x squared um, plus 3x plus 1. That is my final answer. Now, 
before I end this video, I have some problems here which I need to explain. For instance, if you are to integrate, um, you are to integrate um, cos theta, cos x, and uh, integral of what sine x, the x, integral of one all over x, the x, and integral of x raised to the Now this one will give us what? Um, this one will be sine x plus k. This one will be minus cos cos x plus k. Why this one will be equals ln of x plus k. And this will be the way it is plus k. Please, e raised power e plus k. That is what you are going to be having. Now, I have some problems here which I need to explain. We need to solve together for better um, um, understanding. Now, look at this problem. I have some problems here. For instance, I have integral of 1 minus x all over what? x cubed dx. These are positive problems. And I have another one. It's integral of um, 1 all over x plus cos x with bracket of what? The x. And if I'm to solve this thing, I want to solve this problem. The first thing is, I'm just to evaluate anyway. I can write this as 1 all over s q minus x all over s q bracket of the x. Now, here will be um, integral of x to the power minus 3 minus um, s to the power minus 2. I've done the indices, please. Which now I'm talking about s raised to the power minus three plus one, minus three plus one, minus s raised to the power minus three, two plus one, divided by what? Plus one plus k. Now my answer will now be what? Minus minus x squared divided by what? Two, which this one will be plus, and this one will be x minus one divided by what? One, which is minus minus will become plus plus k. Now my answer will now be what? Uh, minus one all over two x squared plus one all over x plus k. That is my final answer for that because this is given to one of my uh, I mean part on my you know I have with me. Now I have another one like this. Um, this also can be written as. Um, integral of 1 all over x plus cos x with respect of what? The x. Now, this will be integral of x the x plus integral of cos x the x, which I'll be having um, link of x plus cos, I mean sine plus k. That is my final answer. That is my final answer. Now, Take note of that very well. I have other problems here. Please, I need to solve as many because this part is very common in our exams. I have some problems there which also can be of help. If I have integral of x squared plus 3x plus 2 divided by x plus 1, the x. Now, what I need to just need to do here, this is another problem. I just need to split the fraction and uh, how will you do that i need to factorize this which i will be having um um two and one two and one will give me what i want it means x squared plus x plus two x plus two divided by x plus one what am i trying to do i'm trying to factor something out which i'll be having x plus uh, o x plus 2 and x plus 1 have successfully factorized it with respect of what the x integral this will cancel this now left with 2 um, x plus 2 dx which i'll be having x squared plus all over 2 rather plus 2x plus k 
That is my final answer on that. Now, I have another problem there which you need to you need to tackle, which I have another one. Integral of 2x bracket of x squared minus 3x plus 4 dx. Now, when I have something like this, just open brackets in the normal way of handling now uh, your brackets, which I will be having um, integral of 4s3 minus 6x squared plus 8x with respect of what? dx. Now, which I can now say that what? It will be equals to 4x raised to the power 3 plus 1, which is going to be 4. Please, I don't have the time again. Minus uh, x raised to the power 3 divided by 3 plus x raised to the power 2 divided by 2 plus k. Now, which I will be having x4 minus 2x cubed plus 4x squared plus k. That is my final. Now, this is always why, you know, that is the function we are talking about. Another one that we need to work on is um, we are having a problem like this. Integral of x raised to power 2, we all know that. If somebody has to find integral of x dx, which um, of, if this can be easy, easily rewritten as x to power 1 all over 2 dx, which I can easily say that word, um, x raised to power 1 all over 2 plus 1 divided by 1 plus 1 plus k. Please, which I will be having 3 all over 2, which I will be having um, x raised to power 3 all over 2 divided by 3 all over 2 plus k, which my answer become um, 2 x raised to power 3 all over 2 divided by 3, which I will be having plus k. That is my final answer. Take note of that very well. I see I have some problems there which I need to try to show light on. Okay. The function can be too much and too many that uh, you need to be very careful with. Um, for instance, for instance, you are given something like this. Um, integral of x to the power 3 minus 3x squared plus 2x plus 5 bracket of divided by x with respect of x. Now, what you just need to do here, you will, you will simplify the fraction by saying that x raised to the power 3 all over x minus x raised to the power 3 squared all over x plus 2x all over x plus 5 all over x with respect of what? The x, which I'll be having 2. It means this side will be 2, this side will be 1, this is 2, this is 2, okay. Now, which I'll be having s squared plus minus, rather, minus 2, I mean 3x plus 2 plus 5 all over x with respect of what? The x. Which, this will give me s raised to the power 3 all over 3 minus s raised to the power 2 all over 2 plus x plus 5 lin x plus k. That is my final answer. Take note of that very well because when you differentiate this, you have one. I mean, you have, and uh, that is lean. I think we have done something on that before now. Um, I think another problem that can also rise up. Okay, if somebody has you to solve something like this, integral of sine x plus 1 all over x with respect of the hex. This is as simple as minus cos x and um, plus lean x plus k that is my answer for that because this is lean and uh, we have done that earlier and the other question can be asked which if you are asked to solve something like the integral of ex minus sec, sec s the x now we all know set s is equals to one all over cos which it will be equals to this will be brackets please take note of that now here will be e of s minus and um, it will be having when i have integral of um sec s sorry sec s times s times s the x now it will be minus e raised to power e minus sec x plus k take note of that and um, these are problems that has been you know that i can generate with this you can solve any given um, integral problem the next video, I'll be working on uh, 
definite integral, which the one that has upper limit and the lower limit. Don't forget, try as much as possible to share and subscribe. If at all you have any problem, just um, contact us, drop message, and to be taken care of. Once again, thanks for watching.